Special Judge Neil Gorsuch is now the ninth member of the U.S. Supreme Court. As Craig Boswell shows us, today's confirmation came with a hefty price in the Senate. On this vote, the ayes are 54, the nays are 45. Judge Neil Gorsuch will be the next Supreme Court Justice. This is a person of extraordinary uh, credentials who will bring honor to the Supreme Court uh, for many, many years to come. Judge Gorsuch will replace the late Justice Antonin Scalia, but Democrats urged him not to be too ideological in his decisions. We are charging Judge Gorsuch to be the independent and fair-minded justice that America badly needs. Judge Gorsuch's confirmation came at a price. Both Democrats and Republicans are warning of extreme partisanship in the future following a rules change which allowed the judge to be confirmed by a simple majority vote. I say to my friends on the other side of the aisle, and I say to my friends on this side of the aisle, that's not the way the Senate was designed to work. But where does the Senate go? Where should we go? Well, I hope that we'll have the good sense to restore the 60-vote margin when it comes to future Supreme Court nominees. But partisanship appears to now be entrenched in the Senate. So is this the end of compromise in the Senate? I certainly hope not. That's going to be a decision for the Democrats. Judge Gorsuch will be sworn in to the Supreme Court Monday. Judge Gorsuch will be able to weigh in on the few remaining cases left in this year's Supreme Court session.